Hi, I am Ms. Roper, A-level chemistry teacher here at Harris Academy, Beckenham. Chemistry attempts to answer a big question. What is the world made of? It is the search for this answer that makes chemistry so fascinating. From investigating how one substance can be changed drastically into another, to researching a new wonder drug that will save millions of lives, chemistry provides endless opportunities for development. Here at Harris Academy Beckenham, we study A-level chemistry using the exam board AQA, which divides the course into physical, inorganic, and organic chemistry. To matriculate into this course, you will need a minimum of a grade 6 in mathematics along with a 7 in combined science or a 6 in separate science chemistry. You will be taught using a variety of methods which include independent work, research work and practical activities. Some of the practicals that you will, in, you will do include the famous titration and thin layer chromatography. Towards the end of year 13, you also get to make your own aspirin, but please do not ingest it. You will be assessed at the end of the two years using three papers. Each paper is worth 33% of your grade and is two hours long. Having successfully completed the A-level chemistry course, and gotten your A's and your A stars, you may want to matriculate into university to pursue a career to become a doctor, a chemical analyst, a secondary school teacher, among many other career opportunities. Please choose chemistry and definitely choose Harris Academy. Um, this morning we're gonna be doing a chemistry experiment where we explore the topic of transition metals. Um, what, do you do, what do you know about transition metals? What you must understand that it concerns transition metals is that they form colored compounds. Right, and these can exist as dyes, and these can exist as pigments. But what are dyes and pigments? Dyes are soluble colored complexes, while pigments are insoluble colored compounds. All right? So we're going to be looking at those by investigating some test tube reactions of transition metal ions in aqueous solutions. Now I have with me three gentlemen. We're going to be taking to take. So beginning our experiment, we've got these hexa aqua solutions, which means our transition metal is um, dissolved in water, basically, in its simplest form. To find out what the identity of our transition metals are, we first added them to a solution of sodium hydroxide which has brought this kind of nice colour in, if you can see, matching them up to what they were before, there's been a slight colour change. After that, we then added our solutions to boiling water for 10 minutes. And you can identify there has been a significant change in the colour, which will help us identify the identity of the metal. We're going to place the hexa aqua transition metal solutions in some silver nitrate. Firstly, I've already done it with solution S and solution Q. As you can see there, there was no reaction with solution Q, but with solution S, there has been some slight, um, it's turned slightly milky, and if you can see, there may be a precipitate at the bottom of the test tube. So, the procedure with solution R will add 10 drops of silver nitrate solution into solution R with gentle shaking as well. And as you can see, there's been a reaction. The solution R has turned milky as well. 
and there is a precipitate at the top. It's the white. It's the white pits in the top of the solution.